What's happening guys? Back here and I wanted to do a little follow-up video to my office tour because I had a few requests of people saying, well, that's nice to see your office, but show me like how you actually do some of the management. Show me some of the tools you use to you know, schedule your projects and make sure you ensure that everybody knows what they're doing, everything's getting done on time, everything's scheduled correctly. And so what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you what I use. So I'm gonna hop on the computer right now. We're gonna show you, get on the screen. I'm just gonna show you the workflow of what we do, how do we set it up for this merch, uh, custom merch business for print on demand. Keeping everybody going, keeping everybody flowing, making sure that everybody knows what they're doing every day. They come to the office and boom, no problems. They get their work done, it's on time and everything's flowing correctly. So I'm not, I'm not sitting next to everybody making sure that, hey, is this done yet? Is this done yet? We got a process that makes sense, that works. And that's what I wanna show you in today's video. What's happening guys? So Nate here and uh, this is asana.com it's a completely free tool and this is what i use to organize and schedule and make sure my team is doing everything on time per day and in a system so my design team knows what to do then my setup team knows what to do then my email team knows what to do my ads team knows what to do and there it goes right in order of uh importance in this tool and so what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you a little bit about this and how I structure it and then you can see that I'm actually not using it to the best of my ability it's probably there's probably way better ways to use this tool but it's this is just the way that I found it works the best keeps it organized very simply and so what I want to do is I want to show you that okay so what we have down here so this first screen we have a project called weekly schedule and then this project um, you can see everybody on the team here uh, well plus more people but whatever but um, we have I start at the bottom down here and what I do is I put ideas in here so remakes and then um, it, even though it says today's remake it will be maybe one of these per day right so one of these per day per per designer and then they would they would make five designs one designer would make five designs uh for this niche and i've tried a, f a few different time a, a few different ways right so um sometimes i'll have five designers make one design per so then this one designer will make one design for this one design for this one design for this one design for this and one design for this per day and then the second designer will do the same thing one 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 and we if we have five designers then you can get five designs uh, per niche and you get the variety of uh, looks and feels and and character and because everybody's making one style design uh, for this topic and so whatever works best for you you can do right now I just currently have one designer make all five designs in different uh, looks because uh, sometimes two designers will end up making something very similar and uh, then we have to go have a make it, redo it so Right now I'm having one designer make this topic and another designer make this topic and another designer make this topic, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And then they make five, and then their, their goal for the day is to make five designs for this. So here's the five designs, one, two, three, four. So they upload, like I click on here, and then they upload uh, their design work in here. And when it's finished, you can click on it and then you can see, okay, see so design number one for this horse. And then they make all the files for the website and for our card hook funnel. And they do all of the click funnel pictures and they do the Shopify pictures and they do all of the, and they do all of the information or all the pictures for that design. And I'll show you a couple of that. So let's see what this one looks like. Um, I'm not sure. I'll just open a couple of these. So wild hearts can't be broken. That looks nice and clean. And then they'll make another, oh, that one's not, that was just a normal, 
Uh, let's open this, open a couple more. Let's see, let's see. My internet's slow. Okay, so then they do that picture and then they just do, do the different mock-ups or whatever. Prep everything, get it inside here, upload it, making sure that uh, all the information is available, all the pictures are available for the, for the next step. Okay, so the next step, once designs are set up in here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna move this. When they're done, they're gonna move it and say, okay, it's ready, and then it's gonna go to the PPE. And so when it goes to the PPE, then the, the setup team for the post page engagement ad team is going to, they're going to set up these five designs as individual campaigns inside Facebook and, and do the, and then the research team is going to come in here. And I think we have a tag. Uh, it says need research. Let's see. Let's need, need research, need research it's purple. And so the, Design team is going to add it here, need today's PPE, and then they'll add the tag need research. And then when research is done, they're going to add the tag uh, research finished. When the research is done, they're going to add the tag research finished. And then so what they'll have in here in this in this text box, they'll have ad set one, ad set two, ad set three, et cetera, et cetera. And then all that information will be there. And so then it will say, even though it says today's PPE, it will, the research team will, will say research finished and then they'll add in the tag that says need PPE. So now the research is there and the PPE is there and uh, the designs are, are attached and now the PPE team can go and set up the ads and, and um, the ad sets for the PPE ads. Now at this point, we're not setting up any of this on the Shopify, none of it, none of PPE is ever set up on Shopify, none of it's set up on Carhook or ClickFunnels, none, none of it's set up. Uh, no, nothing's on the website. It's all through Photoshop files and right now they're just mock-ups, right? Just mock-up files. And that's what we do to set up on PPE. So we're just testing to make sure, or we're testing to find that design that's working, right? And so once we make once a design passes, I'll look at the, I'll personally look at the PPE numbers every morning. And uh, I have another guy, uh, the office manager, he also looks and he chooses his favorite. And then I choose my favorite uh, of the PPE winners. And um, if they match, then we set up the one. If they don't match, uh, I normally make the executive decision because we only always set up one of, one of the five moves on. So we never really do two it's always just one so i'll make the executive decision uh it's normally one i choose but uh uh sometimes i let him he, his design like we both are are looking at the numbers or whatever and so then what we do is that moves up um to the next phase so you can see we have mermaid here and there's five designs for mermaid and what i'll do sometimes i'll leave a little note in here uh, for the design team. So imagine if this was down here and there's no designs here already made, I will leave it a note like mermaid like this and I'll leave a note and say, okay, go make some designs like this. And then what they'll do, the design team, they'll go make designs like how I suggest. Otherwise, they're pretty good and they'll just make whatever they feel like. So here's an example. Um, so let's go back and let's say, okay, so this is actually up here. And let's move this down because it's not finished yet. <laughs> uh, there's still a couple of designs that need to be made. So, and the research needs to be set up. So, but then if, if we have, for example, uh, here we go. Uh, so if this, like, for example, the Chihuahua, let's say it was on PPE yesterday, Chihuahua passed. So now we're setting up Chihuahua here on this. So we set up um, worldwide. So you can see here, this is the WC setup. So set up WC and USA account, so in top 19 countries and the worldwide targeting. So we set up the same three. And then they, when they finish with the, the ad setup, they add a little tag called WC done. And so you can see that we set up the same ad, uh, the same design multiple times the ad set of ad sets just targeting the USA ad sets just targeting um, 19 countries and ad sets just targeting worldwide 
and those normally under the same campaign under the same ad account okay so we don't separate it anymore we used to separate it but right now we just keep it simple and so we got a chihuahua design on women's wallet truck driver design on women's wallet all being set up and um yeah and then once the once that's set up on the ad account it says wc finished and then i will just look at the ads one you know one time a day same time every day and i just make my decisions based on what i'm going to sell what i'm going to kill and then i always put new ideas down here i keep a nice list uh for the design team and the design team knows what they're going to make the ppe team knows how what they're going to set up i make a decision on what's going to what win what what wins out for PPE and then we move it to the setup team over here. And so you can see it says card hook. So that just means it's going to be set up as a separate funnel with click funnels and card hook and not, it will also be set up on Shopify, but it's going to be set up as a separate product funnel specifically. And I'm going to show you more a video in the future about all this click funnel and card hook stuff, but I'll save that for another video. And this is kind of how the workflow is currently for, uh, my asana setup and my scheduling because i just keep everything really simple it's on one page and uh we just move it up the funnel move it up the funnel move it up the funnel and then once it's done when it's when it's complete set up like this i just check box it and we get rid of okay done 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 and and that's it and now we have now when this if this octo one of the octopus ones or whatever if it wins then we just move it up. And what I'll do is I'll just, you can clone this. Uh, you can make a copy of the task and then you can go here. But normally I don't, I just do this and that keeps it simple. And then I'll just add the tag. So this one needs, not needs PPE, but this one now would need, uh, need WC. Okay, and then this one needs, needs WC. And this one needs needs WC, kind of like that. And then when they set up WC, they'll say WC done. And then I know it's done for the day. And then we'll check the ads the next day and optimize and scale and whatever, all that kind of stuff. But um, it keeps this. This is a nice little system, and that's kind of how we operate. We've got a whole team that does a little bit of everything. Everybody knows what they're in, what, what position they're in, what they're going to do for the day. And we just keep the machine running by keeping new designs flowing into the system, new ideas, new topics. And you can see some of the topics. And um, yeah, and if it's, um, if it's a wallet case, we'll say wallet case, octopus wallet case. If it's a women's wallet, we can say women's wallet. And that's kind of the workflow and that's how we set it up. And it's been working like that pretty consistently, pretty well. And I know Asana has other features, but we just don't use them. Um, this is this is what's working right now, and this is uh, all the information is there, all the pictures are there, all the links are there, all the research is there. Everything is in Sana, and people just get to work, and it works. Hopefully that helps, guys. Hopefully that's a little behind the scenes, and uh, yeah, post your comments, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you on the next video. Mm -hmm.